go again you think by now i know better locked in my head romanticizing forever Hello and welcome to my live stream. Kathy Zilski here. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. And Kathy makes a card live. Ah! My nose <laughs> kind of started twitching and I'm like, this is not good. This is not good. Welcome everyone. It's my weekly live stream. I'm back at the usual time of noon central. Last week I had to leave early. Little story, I went out of town with the hubby. I didn't want to tell anyone because it's kind of like, hey, here I am, but now I'm leaving. Come rob my home. And I decided not to do that. So we went up to our cabin and we drove his electric car and you had to wait full three days to be able to get back home. And here's the thing, I love that he has an electric car. I love it. But I just told him the next time we go, I want a little more control over my departure time. So I've just got to say that. <laughs> Gotta put it out there. Anyway, that's my that's my story. That's the first story I have. So if you're catching me, you've never watched me before, again, I'm Kathy Zilski. I'm gonna make a card today on my channel. This is live, which means it's unscripted. I have a plan. I will follow the plan, but you know, eh, you never know what's gonna shake out. And I like to say that. So welcome. It's good to see you all coming in now. I want to start out and show you the plan, okay? But I also wanted to show you something because when I do die cutting in advance, I put things on these little letter trays. It's a little cork insert on what is called an Ikea Cavissel. Now, if you've never seen these, I know a lot of you out there use uh, Calyx units from Ikea, but even if you don't, you can see the two little uh, inserts that I have. These are the cavissels. It's really affordable, you pop it in, you even have room, like I have room to stick, I have a paint board stuck up top, I have my stamp wheel stuck up top. They are so great because you can keep works in progress. For me, it's very helpful because as you can see, I stick little magnets so that it reminds me what my deadlines are. Um, I love these a lot and I did put a link at the very bottom if you've never seen. It's not like an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just Ikea, Cavissel, they're great. Um, you don't have to have, like I said, a calyx to use it, but it's great because I use these when I teach classes too so that I can bring in my projects and they're ready to go. So what I'm using today is the Tulip what is it called? The Tulip Festival dies from Concord and Ninth. So Concord and Ninth always sends me their releases and I've had these dies sitting aside and I thought I want to make something with this today. And what's cool is each little trio cuts out one flower, one tulip, and then you have your blooms and you have your stems that you're going to build on, or not blooms, your greenery. I'm getting a little getting a little carried away. Um, I see my friend Lisa say it's Kathy time. It's Kathy time, and Kathy forgets what she's saying sometimes. 
Yay. Okay, but I decided to cut them out in advance and I thought, let's make some tulips, okay? Let's make some tulips today. I am gonna switch my glasses so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And uh, we're gonna get started today. So hello and welcome. And uh, well, there you go. Okay, okay, here we go. Kathy from C9 Dies. No, no, uh, Rosie, I, I, if I pass out during this live stream, someone just call 911. Okay, it's, uh, it's nice to know that you, I've got people out there. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna ink blend a little color on color. So the cardstock colors and the ink colors today are pink lemonade, watermelon, and creamsicle. And I guess I can set my dies aside now because I'm not, not gonna use those, but we're gonna ink blend on top of things to get some dimension, okay? So I have a grip mat here. This is the, what size is this? Uh, five, what is it? It's the four, th four and three quarter by six. So this fits inside a Misty, I think. And I like, I like to do this because it gives me something to hold my die cuts. All right, so I'm coming in here. And we're gonna keep it really simple, really, really simple. And simple is good. So let's take the first flower here, and I'm gonna take this off and go stick. I'll go down lower here, stick and stick. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna make some dimension. We're gonna make some dimensionals. I don't think that's what it's called, but I think, well, I think you know. Anyway. Good to see you all here. And I would like to say also hello to my lovely moderators, Beth and Emma. Beth and Emma often can answer questions in the chat for me. And here, I'm just gonna clean my brush off before I use it. So if you if you have a question, you know, check it out. Uh, ask, ask them. And if I don't see it, they sometimes will see it for me. And well, I love you ladies. I love you ladies. Okay. And I this is the thing, I just saw Beth who I just spoke of, say I never ink up dyes. I don't do this enough. And I think for possibly ink blend challenged people uh, or coloring challenged people, this is such a great way to play with your die cuts. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the pink lemonade and I'm going to make the set. So this, these are the outer petals of the flower and this is the inside. Okay, I did one to just remind myself how these are gonna go. That's a flower I made last night, just kind of playing around with it. And that's what I'm gonna make today. I probably can use that on another card, but all I'm gonna do is blend on the pink lemonade into the center to make this a little darker. And the other thing that's kind of cool about this is when you use the same color ink and the same color cardstock, you don't have conflicts. You know what I mean? You don't have to say, no, I'm not very good at combining colors. Well, you know what? This one doesn't, doesn't matter. And I'm just using small brushes, but I don't, I looked on their website. I don't know if they're selling these anymore, but we use these in classes. Um, these are from some classes that I've taught uh, for Concord and Ninth, And so I just pull out my little brushes, but of course any brush will work. I got some schmutz on there. All right, so you can kind of see how that totally gets a little darker. And now I'm gonna do these little petals, but I'm not gonna do all of them, right? I'm just gonna come up to create that blendy look. Everything's so clean, my, my little ink stand doesn't stick. All right, a little deeper there, but just kind of coming out. I don't know, I, I, you know, shading isn't like my, uh, my thing. Um, Oh, wait, does it say, <laughs> Roberta, what did you, do I have the wrong title on this video? I promise I'll change it. I'm inking the die cuts. I'm inking the die cuts. Um, Beth Malpas wants to know, are these regular ink pads, are they foam like the cubes? Um, yes, these are, the full ink pads are foam pads on the Concord and Ninth inks. And uh, they're lovely, they're lovely. All right, so we're gonna do that. And there we go. We've got a little variation on the leaves and that's it. All right, here we go. Michelle says, thank you for uh, that. She lost my nail color. Thank you. It is called, it's called wild, wild at heart. And I guess you could say that might be accurate for me. Am I wild at heart? Well, 
you know, I swear like a sailor. So there you go. Not on the YouTube though. Got to keep it clean. <laughs> Got to keep it clean. I almost stabbed my ear with this tool. Okay, let's move on to the next color. So we're going to go in with watermelon. Now I just saw Lori Olson post, you can't get your guys to stick to the mat. Well, here's the thing. I clean my grip mats every week. Um, mostly because the one inside my Misty will get uh, powder on it and then it loses its stick. Um, and even if it if it is not perfect, I just find that I, I it's easier to uh, not have to worry about, oh, what's the word? Um, gluing things down, gluing things down. Um, I just saw a request for CZ After Dark. You know, here here's the thing. And this is watermelon. So again, we're going tone on tone to deepen the cardstock. CZ After Dark, I, you know, I think the only difference would be a lot more swearing. And I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. You know, to have different areas where you're, where you're creating content and then you can't remember, wait a minute, is this after dark or is this before noon? True story. Have I mentioned that there, um, that my husband has a nickname in his family. Um, he, it's not as much though, but he used to he used to be called Dan After Dark because years ago Dan has he he has more social needs than I do, and so he would go out to concerts right and do things, and it was always referred to as Dan After Dark. And uh, now Dan After Dark is about six fifteen because he goes to bed so early. It's it's hilarious. He does. Okay, again, I'm just, you know, doing a little blend here and there uh, to create some visual shade, okay? Inking up the cardstock, I'm telling you. There, okay, I've been making cards since 2017. I feel like there are so many things that I either don't do or forget to try, and I think that's part of what makes this so fun for me still um it is is trying things and like oh yeah i don't really do this hey i see a question from shelly i wash my grip mats with hot water and dish soap that's it i rub them i rub them i make sure they feel really smooth under the tap and that's it that's all i do and then i let them air dry however oh my gosh heidi mills it's Dan after dusk. He lasts about 15 minutes and then he's he's out. I'm gonna have to tell him about Dan after dusk. That's a good one. Oh, he's gonna love it. Um, okay. Anyway, that's what I do. When I when I air dry these though, in my Calyx unit, I have some drawers, and in one of those drawers is a stencil drying rack. And I, oh look at this one. This is different because it's not, it's a little thicker. Um, what I do there is uh, I keep the little rack in, so I'll wash this, I'll air dry it in the drawer so no dust settles on it. Because I don't I don't care how much you clean, dust is just gets on everything. And so it keeps it dust free. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. And yeah, this, the thing is, what are older techniques, by the way, we are on creamsicle, for many people still feel like new techniques for me. And I think that's, Again, that's the joy of discovering um, a project, uh, a craft project style thing later in your crafty life because I didn't make cards. And so I didn't do any of this kind of thing. This kind of stuff would have never done as a scrapbooker. I was too afraid. I was like, but I, I can't stamp. Uh, why, why, would I, uh, why would I try? Well, now look at us. Uh, stencil drying mat, Kathy. I'm gonna pop this question up. It is uh, basically a baby, it looks like grass. Um, I will add that to my supply list. The one I have is from a company called Boone. It's a baby bottle drying rack for people who have babies. And uh, you can just stick your stencils in. It's the coolest thing. It wasn't designed for that, um, but it works great. All right. Come up here, maybe get a little more on that one. And boy, that creamsicle, that looks really good on there. This is a really good orange too. I, uh, 
I'm so glad they came out with it. And I hope, I hope, Greg, if you're out there somewhere, that this stays in your permanent collection because this is a beautiful orange. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see my friend Diane out there. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va? <laughs> okay. I think that's good enough for that. Now, I have, oh, you know what I forgot to grab though? I have some greenery, but here's what I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to blend onto the greenery. Should I? Should I add a little? Because I, I really do not know what this card is going to look like. Um, but there you go. Uh, I actually think I am gonna grab, let me grab, let me grab some more colors. I'm gonna turn the butt cam off. There we go. <laughs> okay. So um, I call it the butt cam because honestly, I'm gonna be turning around, I'm gonna be whatever, and I don't really want people just, you know, to see the, the lack of bra because it's it's shocking. And it's kind of awesome. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna add some ink on here. So now these are the stems. Um, these are the pieces that are gonna hold the stems. I'm not as worried about doing those. Instead, I'm gonna focus on doing some of the greenery, okay? And I think here, well, you know what, if I was a smart person, I would start with the lighter colors. So hold on here, come up, come up, the butt cam. Yeah, I remember the days of the Frankie cam when he was a baby kitty, my, that's my grand kitty for those who don't know who Frankie is. He's coming this weekend, by the way. Um, but he doesn't, that's when he was a baby and he needed so much more sleep and now he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't sleep in my office anymore. See, these are, it's very sticky for me, but I did just clean this this morning and let it dry. All right, uh, so hard to pick these things up. Let's do just a little and I'm gonna go sprout on sprout. Again, all tone on tone. Oh, Reva, I, okay. April Fools is such a weird day and I I saw I saw this clip come through on Instagram from Taylor Expressions. I'm tapping this into the brush by the way and they they pretended to release scented inks. I thought it was real and I thought to myself, I love you Taylor, but why would you do that? Who wants scent? It wasn't real. All right, I'm just going to do a little on these. Not a lot, right? Just a little because this will well, well, now look at me. I say I'm going to do a little and then I go up too high. Um, just for a little something, okay? Not much. But I thought that was very funny. If you go to the Tailored Expressions, I think they did it on Instagram and YouTube. I, I just remember thinking, why would they do that? That's so strange. And, it, and it's not that I forgot it was April 1st, <laughs> but like the sense they were coming up with were terrible and I'm like why why would you do this okay just a little okay here we go now let's bring in you and you I'm not even sure how these all go together um, but I'm sure we'll figure it out so I'm just taking off my surface here just getting a little just like that and I am holding these because again they don't stick you know it's not like the perfect stick but just sweep some on like that. This will dry back so nicely um, and, and, and it will be great. Uh, for Easter this year, this was the first year that we did not spend Easter at the farm. Uh, my husband's uh, parents my, uh, lived on a farm. With, well, my, my late father-in-law was born in this farmhouse and then they retired there and had been there for 25 years. This is the first year we weren't there. We went to uh, my, my mother-in-law's uh, it's like a retirement community and had a had a little gathering in the uh, in the break room in there we rented out a room it was really nice it was really nice a lot of family we all fit in there but it was just different you know it's just different to not to not be at the family farm all right now coming in with parsley uh, the, yeah tailored expressions what a great April Fools because you fooled me all right, and let's just add a little at the bases of these two. Not a lot, just a little. Okay. I like this. Anyway, welcome everyone. It's good to have you. 
I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This is one of those cards where, you know, lately I have been doing a little more prep and planning if there is die cutting involved. Um, but I, I don't have an advanced card to actually know how this is gonna look, but you can kind of see, right? It just kind of, kind of deepens it up down there. And the ink will blend in beautifully and everybody will be happy. <laughs> And we will have world peace. Okay, picking this. I keep grabbing the wrong one. There we go. All right, I have one more, and then it's time to make some tulips. <laughs> this could be a really fast card too, although I have, I have another die that I'm going to try to incorporate. Um, and so we'll see. We'll see if that one works. Ah, there was another joke. Oh gosh, did you see? Did you see? Uh, Concord and Ninth's joke. <laughs> that one I was pretty sure I caught right away. They were releasing jumbo ink pads that were literally the size of a human torso. That was great. If you haven't checked that out, you have to go to Concord and Ninth's Instagram to see the pictures of Greg holding them. Very, very good. Very, very funny. Oh, and then they had micro ones too that were so small, they were like this, like an inch by inch. And yeah, it was, it was pretty good. That one I could see quickly. The Taylor Expressions one I could not see clearly. Okay, coming over here and coming over here. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this up and get, get you. I think we're not completely done with inks. Maybe we are, but I'm gonna set these aside. Running out of room over here. How's everyone doing out there? Mmm, mmm. Love having coffee afternoon. Boy, I tell you, it's the best. Okay, just gonna clean this up and I'm gonna put this back on the plastic, like here and here. And see, this doesn't really need to be cleaned this time, but again, I keep, I keep these guys. Uh, I'll show you. See, I have a craft room tour, but things have changed, okay? Um, now, see where the vertical slots are? It, that's a, that's also a, like a letter shelf insert type of thing. I keep my grip mats vertically um, in the second to the right. So they just slide right into the far one on the right. It's so, it's so functional, so functional. And, and I have to keep it functional because I just don't have all the things in terms of space. It's a small room. Oh my goodness, I just got a super chat. Let me see, let me turn up that sound air so I can hear those super chats. Thank you so much. Hold on here. Ah, oh, Christine. Well, thank you. I I do try to be hilarious when I can. You know, it, it doesn't always work. Okay, we're gonna put this back here. And you go back on the shelf. All right, now here's the thing. I don't think I need to blend anything here, so we're gonna set these aside. We're gonna set this aside, and that was very generous. Thank you so much. Okay, now it's time to do some gluing. So I'm gonna grab this, and I'm going to start gluing my little flowers together. And here's where you can have some fun and be kind of funky, um, I, which I like. Uh, I'm gonna use liquid glue, and I'm just gonna take a little here. This is Connect Glue from Gina K. And I'm gonna take, ah, <laughs> we almost lost her. Houston, we don't have a problem. All right, uh, I'm gonna pop you there and we're just gonna hold it. In fact, I'm gonna get my little share handmade kindness glass block out, love this thing. Um, Graceland, that is kind of here, thank you so much. And you know what, this is why I like to glue, hold on, let me get a scrap of paper. Mm -hmm. All right. I, uh, I keep this cheap, cheap copy paper. Even though these glass mats are great, I absolutely love my glass board studio mat. It's big. Um, the new ones though have card crop marks on, the, on them. So if you if you look at that, their website and you're ever thinking you wanna get one, they look a little different now. And I actually let them know that I had a couple people ask for the old ones and they said, well, they said more people are asking for the ones that have the marks on them. And I said, that's fair. That's fair. Let's see, do we wanna go like this, more on the inside? Just a little glue. 
and I'm going to overlap this right here and that's tulip one. So the thing that's kind of cool about these is you can be as you can glue it basically any way you like and I'm going to put these over here and I'm gonna put glass bricks underneath. All right, there we go. All right, so moving on, moving on. And I, I appreciate all the, the kind words. You know what, y YouTube is my favorite community. <laughs> just is, I just, I can't believe that this is what I get to do. Um, I really can't, it's way too fun. And the people are, also way too fun and I'm just you know it is not lost on me uh, that getting to do this is a gift okay um, <laughs> Laura I'm I love having cats watch my channel I wish wish I had some toys just kind of flip up you know that probably would work okay let's make some more now this one I think again I'll just oh my I need tissue hold on Sometimes if you get a little goopy goop on the end of your fine tip, I just wipe it off and then everything is, everything is beautiful. All right. Uh, here's a question. I, I pop up every now and then. Uh, Danielle wants to know if I were going to heat emboss die cuts, would I do it after I cut? You know, probably it depends. It really depends on the type of, uh, die cut, you know what I mean? Sometimes before, sometimes after, you know? Um, and, and that just depends project to project, I think. <laughs> Did that answer your question? Oh, I hope so. Well, thank you, HP Nana. We're liking this. You know, it, here's the thing, they're so simple. And this guy also just on the edge. So this tulip kind of already opening up, see that? He's already opened up on the outside. Now, we'll go over here and pop you in. I still don't know, did I get that right? Oh, I also wanna let you know, if you like the card that I am making today, you can visit my blog after the live stream and you can enter for a chance to win. And I'll send it to you and it doesn't matter where you live, all over the world, we send everywhere. We just don't send everywhere on big giveaways. Speaking of, I am having a big giveaway on my blog also. I'm giving away two crafty boxes for the month of April. Unfortunately, it's only US because of customs and shipping costs are so high overseas. My overseas friends, someday I'll just move. That's what we'll do. Um, but you can enter if you live in the continental US and I will be choosing uh, winners on Saturday, two boxes, medium sized and they're packed. They are packed to the gills with mostly unused product. Thank you, Emma just popped a link in for you. You can check that out. Thanks, Emma. All right, now we're gonna do this one and I guess, yeah, we're almost there. And yeah, anyone can enter in the continental US. So the boxes are good. And I, I, I'm doing two this month because I think I forgot to do the post in my birthday month and uh, I have heard from folks who have gotten the boxes and they kind of freak out. Okay, this, I think I got my tulip a little, let's come out here just a bit. There we go. All right. They freak out in a good way. <laughs> so, well, Gina, Gina, you never know. I, uh, I don't, I don't really travel, but there you go. Okay, so we've got a little rainbow order and actually it's interesting how the watermelon kind of reads a little red. And now what we can do, I'm just gonna let those sit for a second. I am going to get my little friends. Now, I don't think they're, I don't think it matters which one goes with what, because these are all a little bit different, these stems, but this is, this is how we're gonna ground our little friends, all right? So I think everything's glued very well. And I think, yeah, I just don't think it matters. I'm gonna put a little liquid glue on each one and uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. Uh, oh, Bunny, that's an interesting point. The, uh, you know, I don't have a problem with glare, but that's because the lights that I use are way, way out to the side of my workspace. Um, I can see the lights in my table. So I would say a glass mat 
if you have your op light, you know, right over the top, it might be kind of hard to make that work um, because my lights are off to the side. And, you know, when I'm in here doing things, um, just me, like if I'm crafting or practicing some techniques or planning, I always have my big lights on so they don't bother me at all. They're bright though, I have to say. But if you could see what I see when I look down, I can see my lights at the bottom of my mat. It's kind of weird. Um, so I don't know if that would work, but you know, I, there we go. Let's just put one, one down at a time. I was, I never thought that I would be, oh, did I get that off? Come on now, get up there. Uh, I never thought I would be a glass mat user. I just got that completely messed up. Hold on. Kathy, what are you doing? That's why we like liquid glue. Okay. <laughs> there we go. But I love it because of the cleaning aspect of it. It's just... Oh, it's just so nice. Come on now, get on there. There we go. And I don't think I could go back to having uh, just a regular map. That's just me. That's just me. And that's what I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. What am I, Forrest Gump? Okay, press. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know when Forrest is having his, he goes, that's all I have to say about that. The other day at Easter, somebody quoted a very obscure, my nephew actually, my nephew who's 40, and he, he quoted something for Forrest Gump, but I turned around and I said, Jake, did you just quote Forrest Gump? He goes, yes, I did. I said, I am so glad I know you. Anyway, all right. So now what I have to do, I'm just gonna let these sit for a minute because here's what I want to do. All right, I am gonna zoom out a little. All right, let's come on out. See, if I come out even further, I don't think, see my mat? You can't, okay, you can see up there, right? But like when I look down at my mat, I see a reflection here. You just don't see that. And then I have a second mat over here and uh, you can see that one on the, uh, what is it called? On the die cut cam because um, I am gonna use that next. But here's the thing, I have some paper and I have this. And I love this die. I don't know if I've used it much, but this is the basket weave. And I'm gonna cut out two things here, all right? And the two things are gonna be both from craft card stock and uh, from white, because I might do craft. Craft is not really my jam, but we're gonna see what happens here. All right, I'm putting this down, lining it up. I am gonna trim this a bit, so I don't think it really matters. Um, I saw a question for what do I use to clean the adhesive uh, and the sticky residue. Rubbing alcohol, and if it's really, really stuck on there, I have a Tim Holtz tool set, and this little guy works like a charm. Also, for those of you Pampered Chef, Pampered Chef users, do you have you know those pan scrapers? Those will work too. And then if something's so stuck on that you can't get it, get some of that gooby gone. Gooby gone, but the gooby gone smells so bad and it's super oily. Um, but let's go through, let's go to the die cut cam. There we go. Okay, see this mat with the with the marks there, right there? That's what the new glass mats look like. They have the different card and cropping sizes built into the center. Um, my mat does, my, my old mat does not have that. And so I, I prefer no markings, but I, just so you know, if you're thinking, oh, I love a white mat. All right, let's run it through. I guess I don't need my earbuds today. All right, coming back. So we'll do this one and we'll do one more because I wanna have, this pattern is so stinking cute and I wanna do the white. So we'll do this <laughs> magnet. Now, I do cut right into my mat, and uh, I get questions about that, but you know what? It's it's all, you know, Jennifer McGuire told me I could do it, and as I told her in a text the other day, she said something to me, and I said, listen, you only have to tell me once. <laughs> all right, go back to die cut cam, run it through. All right. Yes, Carla 
Carla Carla Bostic. I know. I'm, I think it would be fun to have merch. I have thought about it. I want to do it. It's, it's on my list of things to do. I would love to have a shirt that says boop. You and I would all know, but nobody else would know. Well, they would think it was for pets and we would all know it was for embellishments. So, uh, okay. So, and again, I, I want to mention, uh, Roberta, I did mention to them, is there any way they can be off? And they said, we just want, we've had too many requests for them to be on now. So I'm going to trim these also. Uh, but what I want to look at first, cause I just, I don't know. I don't know how I want to design this card. Um, I really don't. So here's a thought. Now, if I do something with white, I know that it will be lovely and pretty and everything will be as it should be. So we're thinking about, we're thinking about white. The thing that I like, mm, the thing that I like about white, it's so crisp, right? And it always looks better to me. Ah, oh, ah, oh. oh, Gregory, Olivia, take all my money. You know what? It, the problem is when you when you do those merch things, they're expensive. Like you get you pay like thirty eight bucks for a t shirt. I I had a t shirt that I did once, and it said um, it was a sweatshirt, and it said um I can't remember what it said. I'm doing my best, and it was inspired by a friend of mine's shirt. And you know I think I paid like forty five bucks for a sweatshirt. Can't fit into it anymore. It's a little tight. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, okay. I actually really like the white. Um, I think that is so pretty. And I think for my greeting, oh, did I even grab the stamps for this? Hold on. There is a stamp set. Now I'm gonna have to find it. I thought that I set that aside. Interesting, I may not have. Hold on, I'm gonna put the butt cam off and look for it. Well, I'm gonna find it. Are you here? Oh no, thought I had it. Huh, all right, well, okay. Somewhere, uh, somewhere in here, I do have the stamps, but I don't know where I put them. Hmm. I'm a highly trained professional, here they are, okay. <sighs> had to turn the butt cam off, okay. So I don't, I'm looking at these side by side and I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't want to do the craft. I just don't want to do it. But okay, the uh, Christopher has a question for the community, black or white. Here's the thing. I had a black mat, a black glass mat, and I didn't like it as much for my space. Um, my room and the lighting and just the way it all is, I'm putting you over here into the things that could get used. Um, it just needed to be white and it gave some nice contrast even though sometimes I struggle with uh, white balance and things like that it really did work out well for me now I am going to be adding green layers in here so let's uh, let's stamp a greeting because I thought just um, you make the world more colorful is a beautiful little greeting so let me grab my misty I just, I, I like, oh, cream. You know, though, it's just a thing. Like, I just, I feel like I don't use cream a lot, although I think that would be lovely. I do. All right, let's open these stamps, and let's take our little tiny piece. You have another grip mat in here that never, it never leaves. It also gets washed uh, every week, so. Um, I love the white mat for my space. Again, it just depends on where you work, um, what you like, and also for, for filming, for me, um, it, it works better on white. So there, yeah. Again, my black one is, uh, is in the other room. <laughs> nothing doing nothing. I feel kind of bad about that, but I had it in here and then I took it out because it was, it was getting super dusty. Okay. We're gonna pop this on and we're gonna make a little greeting just with black and white. I think black and white will be very nice. Um, oh, 700 people, thank you. Seriously, I, I hope you're eating lunch. I hope, I hope you're having a great day because I appreciate you for being here. All right, I bought these um, from Altenew. I've, I've been placing some orders. I, I've tried their inks, I really like them. And I have another order coming. Um, 
And because here's the thing, I get so many things sent to me for free from so many generous companies, and then I shop. I shop as well, but this is a stamp prepper. It just to prime and kind of get the coating off. I did see a really funny comment because you know, you if you've watched my channel, you know I use my fingers, and someone said, "Wow, a tool to replace our finger! How ingenious!" And I did think that was really funny, but I still, I still like I'm gonna try it. Thanks. All right. Again, uh, I just saw Sue McCarthy. This is her first time being here live, and I appreciate that. Um, and Sue, not every video is like this. They're usually a little more linear. All right, hold tight. I need some ink, and I need some powder, and I need you. All right, I got all the things. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little anti-static powder, if we can find it. Oh, uh, Linda Linda wants to know, uh, how is it rotating? There, there is a product, it is called the Craft Lazy Susan, but I have done some uh, looking into the term Lazy Susan, and I'm just gonna call it a turntable. It's a turntable, and Anna Griffin sells them on her site. Uh, they're not cheap, but I love mine so much because, as, as you may or may not know, you can store your plates and it's open in the back as well. It is, oh, I just bumped my whole table. Um, it's great. I think it maybe is around $60, really well made. And I think it's, oh, I think it's fantastic. Okay. Oh, Christopher, I'm glad, you know, passing the time while you're working, while I'm working. I get, this is my work and I love it. All right. We're going to ink up with the Versa Mark. And I don't, I don't want to press this too hard, so I'm just going to do a little, oh, that's not too dainty. I love dark cardstock because then you can be like, yeah, it looks really good. And I'm going to, I'm going to grab Brutus Monroe. I've got my alabaster powder, which is really great. I look forward to my lunch today as well. It will be thrilling. You know, okay, here's the thing though. Got to, tell you, got to tell you another story. We're going to add the powder. Actually, I think I'm going to wipe this off real quick while I think about it. So sometimes I don't like to leave my house, and that's okay. The older I get, the less I want to leave. That's just me, and, and I don't really want to apologize for it. So last week, I stepped out of my bounds to say I'm going to go out of town with the hubby, and it's nice because when Dan and I go up north, we have a... a a place that uh, our family place that we you know it's the Zilski family and uh this is alabaster there's my teaching moment anyway but i got up there and i think just knowing because he has the electric car that we were kind of stuck up there and like what if there was an emergency because there were no superchargers anywhere nearby there were all um up north in northern minnesota i don't think there are a lot of electric cars i don't think the infrastructure is is there um in our country yet to support electric vehicles. I also think they're expensive and, you know, uh, anyway, but he, he, he want, you know, he is a, he is a good environmentally conscious person. And, uh, I think by the time I was ready to come back the first day back, I was just so glad to be in my quiet little house in my home with my gas guzzling vehicle that I knew was going to get me to the store. And that's my story. Uh, ooh, chickpeas in an air fryer. That sounds good. And Diane Lawfrey, I agree. Leaving home is overrated. But that's just me. That's me. And, you know, I I used to envy people that enjoy being out and about, but I don't anymore. I, I like me. <laughs> and I like you. And I think whatever's right for each person, you know. <sighs> what makes me sad is if people do things that aren't right for them. And that I think we need to try to, uh, well, we try to we need to do a little less of that. What works for you? What's, what's a good fit for you? You should do more of that, unless it's illegal. Okay, let's melt the powder. I'm gonna get my heat tool warmed up.
And look at that gorgeous powder. Oh, so good. All right, I'm gonna get a sentiment die to cut this out. It's fun to read the comments. A lot of home buddies out there. I, you know, um, I did grow up with homebody people, my parents. I mean, they go out every day of their lives, but my parents are still living. My dad is 90, my mom is 89. And you know, they go to Walmart every day. Oh, what did I just do there? Oh, I just brought some extra powder in. And they're just busy. They're busy people, but they don't go anywhere other than the, at the grocery store. <laughs> Uh, and that's good. And you know, I am very thankful that I have a job that lets me stay home. And I have had a self-employment job since my son was born in 1999. Yeah, he was. Um, I quit my job and started freelancing as a graphic designer. And I've never worked in a corporate office since. I'm going to use my little uh, Couture Creations. Pay oh, it's dead. <laughs> it needs a battery add that to the list. I'm going to try to remove a little piece of powder that's bugging me. Can you get that? Nah, you know what? I think it's fine. Nobody cares. I care. Yeah. All right. It's going to have to stay. Um, there we go. There we go. But yes, being, being self-employed is a lucky thing. And I'm, I'm here. I am, you know, all these years later, still able to do it. And every day I sit down in here and I am so glad that I don't have to talk to anyone when I go to fill up my coffee. Oh, that's too small. You have no idea. Oh, now you do though. I literally just told you. So now you know. All right. We're going to cut this out with one of my Simon Says Stamp sentiment labels. I think that's really cute. I might turn this into uh, a little flag banner too. Let's move you guys out of the way. So I want to say thank you for watching my videos because if you didn't watch my videos, I would have to go back to work in an office. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. Oh gosh, I gotta move my, my turntable keeps hitting uh, my mount. All right, here we go. I mean, yeah, I, I've... <laughs> I've always had to work. I'm not a kept woman. My husband is a school teacher and he became one eight years ago. So if that tells you anything, he, uh, he had a late in life career change. And, uh, so yeah, working has always been part of the puzzle. Uh, Oh, Nadia, I should Okay, That's a, you know, here's the thing. There's so many things that I think could be helpful. Um, I have a series on my blog, Nadia, and it's called, how did I get to be doing what I'm doing or something like that? Um, it's less accurate now because of card making. Um, but it is literally how I got to be doing what I do. And it is one of those things where there's a lot of luck involved and there's also, um, you know, something like work a soul sucking corporate job for nine years and learn how to make people like you. I swear, I, you know, I worked in corporate graphic design for uh, nine years and uh, I learned so much about how to be self-employed during that time. All right, we're gonna use the little notch banner here and I think I'm lined up well enough and we're gonna cut it out. But I think having a corporate job gave me so much experience. Uh, in, in how to work with other people, which helped me to understand how to work for myself. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, yeah. And, and and the other thing is, as a graphic designer, let's pull that up. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's not perfect. I never make these perfectly because I always kind of mess it up. Um, graphic designers are an interesting breed. Most that I have worked with have been delightful people. But some can be really kind of uppity and full of themselves and arrogant. And I don't like that. So I always said as a designer, I'm going to be someone <clears throat> who truly has a customer service mentality. And I bring that into everything I do. All right. <laughs> that's my that's my corporate my corporate speak for today. OK, but I but I do believe here's the thing. I do believe in, in, in any job, treat people with respect and kindness. And, um, and 
and keep your negativity to yourself. I mean, we all have it. We all complain about all manner of things, but try to remember that everyone's doing the best they can at your job. And some people, <laughs> some people it might not seem like it. How cute is that? Um, oh my gosh, I just literally, you all know, you have corporate experiences if you, if you have, and there are people who you have worked with that have literally ruined weeks of your work. That happened to me once. And um, there was this guy, I'm not gonna say names. Um, oh, I just saw someone asking how big my craft table is. I don't know, it's it's not that big. It's like, it's a, it's a desk from room and board. And I actually, I have it linked in my craft room video. So if you've never seen my craft room video, um, check it out because I think on the blog, I think in my supplies, I actually link to my desk. It is the most expensive, one of the most expensive pieces of equipment I've ever bought for furniture. And I bought it 15 years ago and it's just the best. Um, it's from room and board. But uh, this guy, um, one of the things I used to do as a graphic designer was, I'm gonna trim this down by the way. Let me grab some dies. I used to do, a lot of like annual report type of things and uh let's see how big do i want to do this and um there's this guy i'm not going to say his name but he was in charge of the project i was designing it was a 80 page book that we were going to print like a magazine and it was a it was called the supplier's directory and it was all about the industry in which i worked which this might this might sound really weird but my corporate design job for seven years was working for the American Collectors Association. Um, thank you, Emma, for sharing that. And uh, it was the International Agency of Debt Collection, <laughs> which is weird. But hey, they had a lot of printed pieces. So I designed their magazine. I designed their promotional pieces. And I made them look good. Um, but I was on a project. Let me cut this first and it was called the supplier's directory. And, uh, okay, coming back. And this guy sent me the, the, the document. That was back when everything had to be typed into Microsoft Word and then you floated into, back then it was a program I used called Quark Express. I worked on formatting this document for a week, a week. And it was a lot, okay? It's a lot of point, pointing and clicking. It's why I have bad wrists to this day because of all the production work that I used to do. And uh, well, he came back at the end of the week and I had the printout ready for him and he, he informed me he had given me the wrong file that wasn't updated. That was the only time in, in my life that I actually, um, I dressed this young man down within an inch of his life. I could not believe it. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't regret it to this day. I think he cried and he deserved to. <laughs> Cause that, I have to cut another panel. And I share that story because it was literally the only time in my life where I was mean to someone at work with cause. <laughs> oh, those are the days. Um, yeah, he cried and he needed to cry. Okay, I'm gonna cut one more out. I'm gonna cut one more out. You know, he, did he learn? I hope he learned. I hope he went on to have a great life in corporate America. Who knows? He who we sh he who we shall not say his name or whatever. But I that popped into my head. Okay. So the reason I'm doing this is I I need a little uh I need a little flattening because see when you die cut a panel it really does get a little it gets a little uh warpy and I want this to feel more stable so I love my flowers though see how nicely the inks have dried and it's just it's very simple but I had I do have to figure out the greenery and then I might I might have to actually trim this down too and I'm not sure yet but I'm sure we'll get there here we are five minutes to go Oh, yeah, that was the day. That was the day. Okay, I think I'm going to put a little tape runner on this. I'm going to use my score buddy to line up my panel because for me that's just easy. 
And I don't want to use liquid glue on this because I don't want it to somehow seep through. They don't really cut through, but y you know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Coming in like that. All right. Oh, Mrs. Whitlock, I hope you feel better soon. I just did that on the wrong side. There we go. Okay, little, little panel of backup. We're going to line you up like that. And that, my friends, is a very quick way of getting them lined up. I'm going to take my adhesive eraser. Sometimes my mat will leave little black schmutzy things. And when that happens, I, uh, yeah, I like to keep my adhesive eraser. I never link this thing, but it's really old and gross, but it works. Okay, so now let me grab uh, foam, foam squares. Okay, now here's what I don't know. It's what is the card going to look like? Okay, so we've got some flowers. I want to do some greenery, so I might as well say let's glue a little on. Let me grab that piece of paper that I had. Kelly, you, <laughs> Kelly, I'm going to start, Kelly, will you just start a channel so I can come and give you a super chat? Will you do that for me? Just let me know. Let me know when it happens because it's really nice of you. Okay, I'm going to put a little liquid on here and I hope I didn't go up too high. I don't think I did. And I'm just going to line this up right on the base of that for tulip number one. See how that just comes alive? It's alive! It's alive! All right, pick it up. And then two, the other cool thing that you can do is you can take uh, one of these guys if I want, and I guess I could layer one on here too. Um, just for a little, you know, a little extra something. I don't know though if I want to do that yet. So let's Let's just put you over here. Let's bring one of you in. And then let's try a lighter color over here. We're just gonna see. All right, we're gonna see. And hopefully it'll be great. I heard my front door open, but I'm pretty sure that is my son returning from class. Again, just just uh, make sure you put up an emoji if it looks like someone's coming in behind me, okay? Because. Just just two fingers. Do me a peace sign. And then I'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna actually add this guy in too. You know, I'm just making some making some things. All right, I guess. Yeah. All right. How are we doing out there? How are we doing? All right. Lost a few people. <laughs> once lunch 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 once lunch ends. I think that's good. You know, we're just we're just making it there. All right, and again, I, I'm i sure too, and I know this, Concord and Ninth also on their site, that looks a little wonky, they always have um, videos. Oh, thank you, Ancient Ways. That is so nice of you. Appreciate that. Um, they always have videos, and Laura Basson uh, has the video for this, for the introduction to this kit. And you know, she just does everything so well. So if you if you go to their website, they, they always have videos that their makers have created um, to show you how things work and show, show you how they come together. And I love that. So let's see here, maybe I'll do this guy here. Yeah, it, you know, just to add some, some, you know, some something, something. Now I may be cutting some of these off. I, I don't know yet, that I haven't decided. Um, so what we'll do is we'll make the card base, okay, and we're going to pick you up, and you guys all go here for now. Let's just, the power of the brick. Now, I've got a note card, and I am going to, I'm going to do it on white because, uh, oh, hopefully there hasn't been too much buffering. You know, the interesting thing is about that, Sometimes it is literally just what your server might be buffering. Um, my server is pretty decent here these days. Um, and it's nice to be at lunchtime as opposed to nighttime when it's a little harder. So sorry about that. Hopefully, hopefully you can see it fine. We are going to make a top folding note card like this. Okay. And I'm going to move you out of the way. Fold this down. 
and I'm going to give this a nice press with my Teflon bone folder. All right. Oh, people join at the last minute. We're almost, we're wrapping it up, but you know, you can always, you can always go back and check it out. I will have, uh, I need some foam tape. Hold on. Yeah, where are you? I will have a video for you on Friday. Um, oh my, my shirt's literally coming down. Oh, and it's the first Wednesday of the month, so now the tornado sirens are happening. Now here's what I want to think about. So we're gonna do tone on tone, and we've got this, and I'm gonna be putting some foam squares on here. But here's what I want to try to think about. Do I want to keep, oh, I kinda like, I think I'm gonna have to cut some, but I want to do, Oh, I just heard another one. Thank you so much, Melissa. All right, uh, I want to figure out what is the nice placement for this. And I think I am most definitely going to have to cut some off. Does that make sense? Like I'm gonna have to put some down and cut some off. And then I wanna have you make the world more colorful. But you know what? This feels like it's just too much. I almost, Mm, would it be weird if I just took the leafery off? Uh, I think I'm going to. I know this seems like, what are you doing, Kath? But I feel like there's just too much leafery on here. So I'm going to cut it like that, okay? Because right now, <laughs> let's see. That, I think, is going to make me feel better if I put this in the center. And then this is underneath. So I want to do this where I can cut it first. I know, Lee, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did it, I cut it. But you know what, <laughs> let's see. Well, I got an extra one. I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't love the way that was looking. All right, hold on, hold on here, I got an idea. What if I said here, we did one. This is where I'm not, I'm not the most skilled. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I got an idea. Hold, hold tight. I don't like that. What if I did? Okay. I'm going to put one back. I think. Trust. This is, this is where it all falls apart. And that's okay. We're just going to do a little. I just didn't want all that. But I, I don't mind. I don't mind that. All right, I'm gonna hold it there for a second. Oh, come closer. I want it to go in sort of a rainbow order. I just wasn't sure, right, which, uh, come on now, there we go. I think that's fine. Okay, see if I went with pink, red, <laughs> no, no, I think I like it like this. Okay. Uh, Tony wants to know if a magnetic mat is better than just a glass mat. Well, I mean, this is a magnetic mat too. And honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to, it, it's magnetic, but it is not the greatest magnet you'll ever, you'll ever see. I kind of like, I kind of like that look. What do we think? Where this is going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to put this on first. Okay. I'm gonna put that one on first. It's all coming together, we hope. Oh my gosh. All right, that's where we like the fact that we get a little liquid glue. I'm gonna come up here like that. Little guy there. Easy peasy, okay? Get you guys glued. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. Yeah, this is magnetic, the mat, but it's like, it's not like it's, um, you're not gonna hold things down and they're, they're never gonna move. I'll show you, let me show you why. Okay, let's do this first. So here's a magnet, right? It sticks on here pretty well. But like, if I go like this, I can still pull, it's not super hard. So I guess that's the point. Um, I don't use the magnets very often because I don't find it to be all that magnetic. That's all, all right? And you know, it's, uh, it's what it is. Okay, now this little friend 
is going to be down a little, but also over that tulip. So we have a little overlap, okay? Not a lot, but enough. And I mean, you could, you could do pop-up foam square type of deal. I am not on this because I feel like I already have so much happening with the cardstock, you know? I do think this is gonna be cute, I do. And really, that right there is gonna work fine. Let's line up the base that I will be trimming come down just a little like that okay I think it's cute and just let let, let it adhere all right okay and we'll bring in our last one and again I just think ink blending on that cardstock I I sh again got to do it more it's it's easy it adds so much and also here on this particular die set when you're gluing you really don't need to do the backs of the petals because that layer of cardstock is is not going to be smushed down like I wouldn't put glue on there. I guess that's that's why I'm not doing it. Love liquid glue. It's so good. Okay. Hopefully that'll all stay. And then we will trim it off. All right. Pop you on. Also these little pens that I put in, I do always have them linked now. They're from Gloria Wolf. She sells them, but you have to email her to get them. Okay. Now, come here, little friend. Come here. We're almost there. And now, this guy. Yeah, that that's we like that. We're going to we're going to put that right. I'd like the I like them to overlap a little, and I think that's just fine. And press. It's a little mucky muck, but I think <laughs> I think we're going to be good. Okay, now let's get some foam squares on our, our little flag. So cute, so simple. I mean, simple, but here we are at, you know, an hour and seven minutes. Simple is relative, but uh, we, we like it. Okay, I am gonna bring in my big paper trimmer though, uh, because I don't, I don't like to use the small one for what I'm about to do. And I could do it um, uh, with scissors, but no, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to get a nice clean cut. Hold on here. All right. We bring in our favorite trimmer. And this, this really is my favorite trimmer. I love this thing. It has changed my life. I had the orange one when I first started card making. And then Tim had sent me this one. And uh, I gave the orange one to my daughter because she loves it. And now all we're going to do is we're going to stand up. All right, here we go. And we're just going to cut them this way. I hold it down, make sure you're lined up and like that. That way we have a nice clean cut at the bottom. Now, if I wanted to fill this out a little more, I certainly could. I certainly could put one of these back in, you know what I mean? But I, Gosh, I don't think I'm gonna need it because I want to do I want to do that but maybe maybe just have one more coming through huh what do we think would you do that would you add one more in here well I feel like it's out of balance somehow hold on I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna see if there is a way to bring it in. The tulips are great. I mean, they're just sweet. You know, like I think that probably is needed just to add a little balance. Yep, you guys are right. <sighs> Do not doubt. Again, leafery arrangement one day. Maybe I will count it as one of my biggest skills. Uh, but it's not, it's not necessarily, but I think that is nice. And yes, Karen Carpenter, the big trimmer does have an arm that comes out, which is great. I'm gonna place that down for a minute. Oh, come on, you got a glue. I'll just hold it with my hands. Yes, it does have um, an arm that comes out. See, some of us like it and some of us don't, but you know, wait till the whole card's done. Trust, <laughs> trust the process. I don't know what the process is. Okay, this one, I'm gonna roll the dice and just go like that. Okay, now I am going to put foam tape on the back. 
So I have my Ulta New Foam Tape. I like this little card and I want to give it to my daughter because you know what? She makes the world more colorful. She is just, she's great. She's a great human. It's not just because she has a cat. Okay, here we go. Coming up. And again, thank you all for being here today. I appreciate it. If you like the card, I can't send it to my daughter because I'm giving it away. Oops, forgot about that. I'll make a duplicate. I'm going to give this to one of you. Just, you know, go to my blog, leave a comment. I'll post more pictures too, because once this is done, I'll have some pretty pictures, hopefully, and uh, you can see how it looks, how it turned out. And then I'll give it to one of you. So, uh, like that. Now, it's so simple, but I love it so much. Okay, we're going to take the backers off. I'm using, I can't use my jewels. All right, there we go. Now, there you go. Get it? Get it? All right. No, I'll make, I'll, I'll give this someone away and I'll do a duplicate because now that I know what I'm doing, um, I might be able to do something uh, with maybe some of her favorite colors. You know what I mean? She is the best though. Um, there we go. Okay, we're going to pop you down. Excuse my little bun head. Oh, I just love that pattern. Uh, mm, that's so cute. It's so cute. And someone had said that I could kind of curve up the tulips and I think I will do that too. Here, what I'm going to do is just pop that over the bottom. It's so cute. With a little foam square. And this has enough clearance, clearance so that it does not uh, it clears the blooms, the, the stack of paper, because that's a bit, you know what I mean? We're not joking around here. Okay. And simple can be beautiful, even though, you know, you it took an hour and however many minutes to get there, but we're going to, we're going to visually center this at the base like that. I'm going to quickly bring in my T-square so that I can at least see if it's straight. I think that's pretty straight. And press. Oh, I really like that. Okay. And I, gosh, I don't think I want to put anything else on here because I feel like when you have something this simple, it doesn't really need a boop. Yeah, I found my ruler, Beth. It was uh, in a bin going up the stairs. I have no idea why. I don't think this needs anything else. What do you think? I mean, I, I did pull some cute new products that I have. They are both gold enamel dots and silver um, from Concord and Ninth, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I need that on here. Sometimes you do have to know when to say when. You know what I mean? Just to say, hey, I think we're good. I think that is our finished card project. So, if you like this card head on over to my blog. I will be, uh, the link has been shared, but I'll update the link afterwards. Um, and I will be giving this little, this little friend away. So thank you so much for being here. I don't have any shameless promotions today. I just appreciate you all so much for being here. And I will be posting a picture of this card to Instagram and to the community tab. I'll update the thumbnail. Oh, I wanted to say thank you for the feedback on the thumbnails. Uh, to my subscribers, thank you so much for giving me um, some good solid feedback. I think it's helping me make some decisions on my thumbnails. Also, if you are not a subscriber, please become one today. Help, help, help the channel grow. I am grateful to you for that. So uh, yeah, so other than that, um, and also if you have any questions and they have not been answered today, please feel free to shoot me an email at kathy at kathyzilski.com. I answer every email that I get and I will update all the links below with information and things that I mentioned during the video. Uh, give me about 30 minutes and it'll all be great. So uh, again, thanks for being here and I will see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today for my live stream. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in checking out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.